In the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Flying high, I emerge through the flames Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back Melanin, activate the name of Super Black In the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Flying high, I emerge through the flames Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back Melanin, activate the name of Super Black uh, Imagine that, a future that's super black Long as your skin brown, your superpowers intact what would your powers be? Just hope it ain't super whack. Spatial manipulation, create a portal that's black. Maybe just super speed, time travel to run it back. Or cheat manipulation to keep my spirit intact. As I encounter evils the world face, demons the world makes. I needed the world to stay. Rest in peace to Chad, what they killed all the Black Panthers. Told us white lies, I still marvel at black answers. Suits in DC, pray it lead to a civil war. It ain't no Justice League. What's the need to be civil for? Propel like the juggernaut, it's clear, ain't no stopping. This. The world in grave danger, who can stop the apocalypse? They killed all the heroes, the new ones don't really care But if you need me, put your fist up in the air Yeah, In the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane Flying high, I emerge through the flames Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back Melanin, activate the name is Super Black In the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane 
flying high, I emerge through the flames. Have no fear, I'm here, so stand back. Melanin activate, the name is Super Black. Hello, everybody. You're probably wondering why I'm here tonight. We were supposed to be on break. Just two weeks. Two weeks, and they couldn't even get that right, Hudson. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for tuning in. It is your man on the wall, Chris Fury. How's it going, everybody? I hope everybody can hear me fine. Let me check my uh, stuff real quick. But other than that, I hope everybody's doing well tonight. I hope everybody's in place. I hope everybody's somewhat cooled off. Me being who I am, I am cooled off, but I'm always ready for a battle. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Blur's Eye View, special episode tonight uh, before we officially come back with the season 10. Uh, we got comments is fire already. I love it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, no break. No break. This is the way. Yeah. I, yeah. Um, it's like it's like it's like the X Men in in Batman. It's like we we gotta Gotham's always dirty. New York always needs to be protected. Uh we are back for a one special night only. Anyway, uh, we here to talk about Queen Gate. But before we get into that, I want to thank everybody for tuning in. I want to thank everybody for the support. Uh, if you're new here. Queen Jasmine, if you're new here, thank you for tuning in. Uh, you can show your love on the YouTube channel. You can also show your love on the IG channel, uh, Blurred's Eye View Podcast on uh, Facebook. And yes, yes, <laughs> the last be the way. Yeah, it is. It is what it is. But uh, I want to thank our people coming in. I want to thank everybody that's watching. I want to thank everybody who's showing us love, who's been continuously showing us love. If you are here, you can also get. Some Otaku Noir merch. Go to otakunoir.com and put in your discount code Blurs I View to get you a nice little percentage off when you go to check out. Get you some blurred blind box mystery goodness. Trust me, no matter what kind of box you're getting for the month, you will not be disappointed because there is so many POC creative uh gems, gold, vibranium, whatever you want to call it, precious metals. That's in this. That's in this box. You want to get some of that action. You want to tune in for that. You can also check us out on Always Press Record Television. You can always catch that on uh, Roku and Amazon Fire. But before we get going, I want to bring some of the team in here. We got we got our we got our resident horror writer for BlurredEyeView.org, Geek by Heart in the building. What's going on? Yo, what's up, Chris? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? All right, all right, all right. Uh, we got our squared ring king, the man who means what he says and says what he means, as long as you're not being a creep. <laughs> the Black Spartan, what's going on? What's going on? Or if you're not being petty, because if you are petty, I will be twice. If you're not petty, you then sure you right? are in the wrong show. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you're not petty, then you're probably not in the right camp. We take a certain level of petty. We take our petty on ice. I treat, I treat my pay like a samurai sword, but <laughs> it just it stays in the ready. It's it's always something with us. It, it, it has to be. Um, Store it is ready. It stays. Oh, oh, lady, you have my respect level so high right now. It's 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 one here. It's one sitting out of here like. <laughs> Just all back. she all she has to say is the word as all she has to say <laughs> oh so yeah we're, we're doing good uh yo it's it's my people circling nerds what's going hey. on Tommy hey. crew over there the people i started out with uh who gave me my namesake due to my uh extensive knowledge uh <laughs> He's also part of the petty crew. He loves it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's quick to set them in place. <laughs> That's right. What's right? So what's going on? My man, Crazy at the Gray. What's going on? Everybody's in the building. See, I told you, the people are asking for us. They want to know. They want to know. They want to know. Petty, petty. Petty, 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 petty yes. 
They want to know. That's Kira it. coming up. Yeah, Kira, Kira. Kira. When, is, 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 uh, no, that's going to be apothecary Kira. Yeah, apothecary Kira shows up. That, it's a good time. Yeah, <laughs> she's, she's, time she shows she's, up. she's coming in with the photo finish. Uh, but other than Queen Gate, <laughs> what's been going on? <laughs> it's the talk of the town, I know. <laughs> mm, it's the only thing we're talking about. It's the, it's the only thing we're talking about. So, it is. It it it. Go go ahead, Chris. Go ahead. No, go ahead. no, no, no. You go ahead. You got it. You got it. No, I was like, it is. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to find the the positive. It's the positive we're trying to find out of this. It's just like there's, nah, there's we, positives, just there not out positive, of that yes. particular situation. But there's definitely been some positives for that. Okay. Just yeah. not that particular situation. Mm-hmm. And, and right. we'll, we're going to explain that particular situation uh, as best as we can, because number one. We didn't hate on anybody. Mm-hmm. Who took that? We didn't hate. We didn't dislike. We none of that. We enjoy these people. Mm-hmm. Let's put this on the board. We enjoy the people that were that won and everything else, except for the everything on the Western Front. We don't know where the hell that came from. What is this? Uh, <laughs> I, it just was. Yes. It, it's it, a historical it, drama. You already know it's gonna get its flowers somehow. Yeah, I'm just. I, I'm I don't to know. Think- I'm starting to think that some people just have a fascination with Germans. Well, here's well, the thing. I'm starting to really when think it, when it comes to taking out Nazis, mm-hmm. that's the positive. I I'm just mm-hmm. saying there's a there's a there's an upside to it, but you know. just something. I'm getting red dawn vibes. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Stop. which version? The original or the remake? Are we not talking about the remake? What are you talking about? Are you yeah. joking? No, no one talks about the remake. The is remake is trash. Okay. We will not talk about the remake. The remake was horrible. Mm. Well, we know that. We know that. Could they do that again? I don't know. Um, they, I don't think they, they should. Um, Ooh, Fox and Friends had fun with that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> like Tommy said, they like Wolverines. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> We're not talking the James Howlett version. Um. <laughs> but other than that, yes, we did it. We we generally the blur community doesn't really get into it. You mm-hmm. know, we don't really watch the Oscars like that. We pay attention. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah, it makes yeah. sense. Okay. So. And as I stated earlier, disclaimer, we are not hating on Jamie Lee Curtis. We actually like Jamie Lee Curtis. Mm-hmm. We're proud of Jamie Lee Curtis. Yep. She's she's been a she's been a she has she's been always, an ally. She's, she's, she's been a very she's been a consistent ally. That's mm-hmm. not that's not our problem. Mm-mm. But I I came across this a clip mm-hmm. by the comedian Roy Wood, Wood Jr., who I'd love to get on the show if you're listening, Roy. You know, I'm gonna have to talk right. to skip over it, blur it over because they both from Alabama, Birmingham. Just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, go ahead, mm-hmm. throw your boy a bone. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm play this clip real quick. Academy for sure, it's about 8,000 members, of which only 15% are people of color, not black people of color. Oh, and the Academy won't tell you who all the members are. And to get a shot at becoming a member, two members have to vouch for you or you yourself have to be a nominee. And some of the members, they're stagnant. They haven't worked in the industry for years. Should they be voting? And the ones that are voting have also openly admitted that they're not even watching the films that they're voting on. Mm. So keep all of that in mind before you allow yourself to get completely infuriated. Director Gina Prince Bythewood's film, The Woman King, which grossed $100 million globally and got 94% score from Rotten Tomatoes, was shut out of all Academy nominations. In all categories, every category. Not best film, not best director, set design, best movie set in Africa, nothing. Not even anything for Viola Davis. And you can't tell me Viola didn't deserve a trophy. She was outside the whole movie. She was indoors one time, and that's when John Boyega let her come by the crib to take a bath. Now. In reaction to the lack of nominations, Bythewood said this to The Hollywood Reporter, quote, The Woman King wasn't snubbed. A snub is if it missed out on a category or two. The film was not nominated for one single craft. It's not a snub. It's a reflection of where the Academy stands and the consistent chasm between black excellence and recognition. 
So come Oscar Sunday, I'll be pulling for Angela Bassett and Brian Tyree Henry and Rihanna. But if they get snubbed, take solace in knowing that The Wire never won an Emmy and Beyonce still doesn't have a Grammy for Album of the Year. It's all kind of weird. Now that's just some words mm-hmm. to kind of chew on. And kind of, we, mm. we, mm-hmm. Yeah, see, they are already mm. calling the people because they know we might like this one up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Dang, that was almost that was good timing. It was like <laughs> it was. It was damn good time. So, and, and so, lady, 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 Mandalore is in the building. Hi. And, <laughs> oh. Hi. She, she, Hi, she, boo. She's, she's, I'm sorry. How you I'm doing, popping. girl? <laughs> so, as I stated earlier, this was the disclaimer. We do not hate Jamie Lee Curtis. We are not hating on Jamie Lee Curtis. We actually enjoy her. Facts. Mm-hmm. We However, are, we are mad at the people <laughs> who run the Oscars. Mm-hmm. That's who we're upset with. That's who we got a problem with. Yeah. Still. We, we understood the assignment. We understood that y'all were going to go a certain route. We, we mm-hmm. got it. It was a red herring because had this other person, had Stephanie Hsu been the one that was put up instead of Jamie Lee, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who Jamie Lee has what a, a, a total of what seventeen minutes in the film in itself, give or take. It's the equivalent of Angela. School. Take that back, Queen Angela. It's the equivalent of Queen Angela's time in Boys in the Hood. Yeah, and for those okay. who don't know, she was in the beginning. That's how Trey ended up staying with his daddy. It's the equivalent of that. Mm. So has Stephanie Hsu been in that place instead and she won it, we would have right. It's fine. It's fine. We, it's we fine. back we back off. Fine. We were like, we get it, we got it. A little, <sighs> a little, a little miffed, yeah. but all right. All right, you know. I got it on a technicality. I would have been cool. I would have yes. been sitting here cool. Not ready to go. I baby circle nerds, you know this all day, every day. They good, they're, those are my people, they're good people, they are they are allies, they are with the shits. Um mm-hmm. They are, we know, <clears throat> we know. <clears throat> First off, let's get it off, off into the glory that is our queen, uh, Queen Angela. Let's get her, let's get her going mm-hmm. right there. Never seen her on a bad day. Never. And I think exactly. if we did, we, I don't, and even if we did, we probably never noticed. Nope. Right. Uh, <laughs> nope. She's, she's in my, in my honest opinion, she's very much like Storm. I haven't seen her in a bad outfit or hairdo yet that I that she could pull off. I That's haven't. True. This is this is Lord. <laughs> and that if that is not if that reverence. Is not, if that That's not, it is. That it is reverence. And and I don't say that because yes, I have a mad thing for Angela, but at the same time, I have mad respect. Mad mm-hmm. respect. So for those who don't know. Lived under a rock. Haven't been anywhere for the past two, three days. Mm-mm. Queen Angela was up for uh, the role of, well, she was up for the category of Best Supporting Actress. Now, if you've seen mm-hmm. Wakanda Forever, you understand why. Mm-hmm. This woman acts her ass That's off. That's right. In every role, she is the highest paid black actress on television. On mm-hmm. television. She commands respect everywhere she goes. She's a director. She's a producer. She's an actress. She handles business no matter what. No egregious scenes, no extra BS behind the scene. None of that. Where she goes is just royalty. It's, it's just royalty. Okay. If we had something like that here in the States, I'm pretty sure she's at the top of that list. Oh, yeah. Yep. Easy. Okay. Facts. So. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> it's the only yes, power. It's the Second only note. word for her performance. One hundred percent power. It was. If you did not feel that scene in the throne room, just the throne room scene alone, when she's right. talking to Okoye, alone, that alone, you are a heartless son of a bitch. I don't know how else to put that. Just say you watch the movie. Just say you don't yeah, watch the movie. Yeah. Just say you don't watch yeah. It. I mean, pretty I'm much. getting chills thinking about it. Just even it thinking does. about that that scene. When you take into effect of where this emotion comes from, mm-hmm. all right, mm-hmm. and, and the script she's given, 
it makes it that much more powerful. Agree? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Let the church I've, say amen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen everything everywhere all at once. Fantastic mm-hmm. film. Yeah, Great cool. movie. Great movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And in my honest opinion, Jamie Lee does not is not a standout for me. She's she, a part of the film. She's not really a focal point. She's, mm-hmm. you know, she she's uh I don't know how you want to I, I can't think, think of the word for it, but she's not a focal point. It, it's it's she's not the standout. She is mm-hmm. not a driving catalyst in this movie. That's it. She's an That's additive. She's, she's not even not additive. additive. She's an additive. She's an additive. She's an additive. That's she's, she's, she's a small, ex- extremely small piece of the puesle. Mm-hmm. That's just that. That's not even a nudge. Is it's not, mm-hmm. and it's it's no slight to her or her acting ability or a human. It's just that particular role. That wasn't that, it. No, right. that's not. The, she's not the foundation. And definitely not. And role. definitely not best supporting. Even no. nominee worthy. She's right. not a like she shouldn't even been nominated. I mean, uh, nominated. She, 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 she not, should not have been a nomination. Exactly. No. Mm-hmm. Now, yeah. we'll give you the congratulations. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. We'll yeah. give it to you. It's yeah. not you. It's not you. No. Mm-hmm. We know. And as I played that video earlier from Roy Ward Jr., we know exactly what it is. It's mm-hmm. a 95 year old system that is severely severely broken Um, and we know that yeah i mean it was i forgot who said it uh i forgot which personality so i apologize i don't give credit to this because i heard it this morning when i was working but they sat there and said here's the here's the theory that they have on the academy awards that they there's a belief that we cannot give a person of color that represents a positive image, the award. Go ahead. And they sat there Go and ahead, said, Martha. look at look at the examples. They said, if you think about it, Denzel Washington mm-hmm. should have actually had that award five mm-hmm. times over for literally five different movies that still make money Hurricane? that are almost 20 yeah. years old to this day. Mm-hmm. You can imagine I can the- I can name I can name three off the top of my head. Cindy Poitier, mm-hmm. Harry Belafonte. Okay. Morgan Freeman. Yep. Okay. I'm going, I'm going a little further. Yeah. Denzel Washington. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they, these, are, these are roles they should. Right. And it's funny when they say, and it's funny where he brings it up. He goes and think about it. What was the one thing Denzel finally got finally got recognition for? He had mm-hmm. to play a stereotypical crooked individual in order to actually get the nom and the win. And he says, "Look at Halle Berry." Halle Berry had to put herself in a position that, let's be honest, and he said that said, for all my sisters out there, you probably agree, you didn't like the fact of how she got nominated for a scene that not a lot of women would do that she got nominated for. So That's again, right. that it's degrading. I said, you, I said, but look at it this way. I said, look at look at Angela Bassett. Angela Bassett, let's let's slide. They were like, let's slide Wakanda Forever out the way. You won't give her credit. For her, for her portrayal of Tina Turner, you're barely you're barely recognizing, and this is this is so far from what we're thinking. Mm-hmm. You're barely rec- recognizing a superhero film. We're not even on that stage, no. right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's just but it's just <laughs> a fact of but it's a fact of positive. You're looking, like you yeah, you're, you're looking at the genre, and we're like, look, we're not even we don't all those movies that were nominated. They're all different genres. Mm-hmm. We're not looking at the genre. <laughs> and, that's, and that's the thing. It's just that it's like it's so interesting now that they point out they were pointing out like take her line out of Wakanda Forever where it's it where she literally says, "Have I not given everything? everything?" And it has so many layers to it. It's not just the fact that she's speaking as far as a queen that has lost every member of her family. The timing of it all with the with the with the Oscars. It's like. What more can she possibly do yeah. at Rings. this point? Because if you think of everything that she's done, you can imagine the reason why she felt the way she felt, why we all felt that way. It's like, what yeah. more can you do at that point to where, let's be honest again, with Jamie Lee Curtis, you had a little, you had a little to no impact in a movie that was really dominated by Asian actors. And yet you still somehow got best supporting actress. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, Geek by Heart, I'm gonna let you say your piece. I, I think that they just 
already normalized the Karen. I felt like y'all just gave a Karen an award. Mm -hmm. And again, that's not Jamie Lee Curtis. No. That is her character being a Karen. Yeah. yeah. Right, that, right. That's how I felt. I just was like, mm -hmm. oh, wow, y'all just normalized the bullshit now. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't already normalized. Mm -hmm. But um, I mean, I think Will just took it away with just everything. But especially with that line when he said, have I not given everything? That's that's mm -hmm. it. That's the summary of the whole conversation. Because, yeah. yo, this woman is just amazing. And I don't understand why she cannot get her justify flowers. It's, it's just really, really it's, infuriating. It's almost as if... <sighs> We're not asking for the Oscar because, to be honest, we, we have the NAACP awards, we have the SAG awards, we have BT honors, we we have shit that we're just like giving it to her. The mm -hmm. Oscars in a lot of people's minds is the pinnacle, mm -hmm. right? It's it's the pinnacle, and it's just like, mm. but do we really need it to be recognized when you see someone whose talent spans decades? Mm -hmm. Lady Mandalore, I'm giving you the floor. <clears throat> Mame, <laughs> do not unalive. <laughs> I'm going to try to be as concise as humanly <laughs> possible. Circle of nerds, I'm going. I'm going to sum this up for you because I, I read this very clearly. Um. Fuck them and what they got, okay? <laughs> I'm not. I short, sweet, to the point. To the okay. point. <laughs> um, they are. It's not even unable. It, it's unwilling. It's disrespectful. It is ignorant. At this point, for them to not be able to identify talent that is, what is it, superior and above reproach mm -hmm. within this community mm -hmm. you can't tell me that if you put jamie lee curtis in angela's role we would we would she would still she would be yeah. winning correct if yeah. they had switched roles yeah. what would we be talking about mm -hmm. could jamie lee curtis actually pull off that role regardless of color if she is a queen in a country where her entire family has just been abolished, you really see Jamie Lee Curtis pulling off that role? No. Can you pull off? Not like emotion? Angela. Not Ain't, like Angela. Angela. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I'm the queen of England has lost all of her family, and Jamie <laughs> Lee Curtis needs to portray that. Best, give best, me best a break. Way. That's the best way. That's the best give way. Give me a break. That. That's the best. There's way. There's no way. There's no way that she's pulling it off. But it is it did, but it just goes to show you they do not want to give us they don't want to give us acknowledgement in areas yes. where it shows our best. That and and like and like Chris said, uh like Chris said, it's the fact that we don't necessarily need them. And that's the thing. It's like uh with Hollywood, Hollywood is only gonna be one thing and one thing alone. The fact that the Illuminati, uh, aka the committee, decides on these things that they have their own rules and things of that nature. And like we were talking about last night in our uh, in our group chat, I was like, there's only one way to really solve this. And you pretty much got to do the one thing that's going to show them that um, as Circle of Nerds have pointed out, you want to show that their time is up, pull, pull away I'm, from it. I'm going to use a, a Negan analogy. Uh-oh. I like this. We're gonna shut this shit down. <laughs> I got Lucille on the ready. Okay. 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 So I like no. it. I'm it, it's, with it. it, it <laughs> you know, the collective blurred and ally community literally sat back and said, Are you fucking kidding me? Fuck like, me. really? Yep. And Austin Butler, who was actually up for Elvis. Who sat next to the queen? Actually, mm -hmm. you if you it's a blink and you miss it because of the camera work, but he actually grabs her hand, you know, as in I I know it's I know I know yeah, it's bullshit. Yeah, I yeah, know, you know it's bullshit. We mm -hmm. even have a quick shot of this where she's obviously visibly upset. Yeah. And yeah, the mm -hmm. other conversation that comes up is 
Oh, she should have been happy. No, no, for who? no. This becomes no. a whole nother conversation now, mm -hmm. where you're telling a black woman that she's not go. allowed to she's be upset. And she's got to sit there and smile. Are right. you out of your fucking mind? She, is, yep, she has to sit there and be poised <laughs> and, and, and take it when she got screwed. Yes. And nah. take it. She should be just lucky to be a nominated. Mom. Now, yeah. Are you, Mish? That's what that's that's the what young they one. Saying. That's not for her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is this is what I enjoy about this entire thing because we got it. We seen the message. Mm -hmm. We don't need you. Hell, even Jimmy Killing Kim Kimmel during his monologue was calling him out mm -hmm. and was throwing shade. Hello. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, and, and why you thought you were really doing something by banning Will Smith for 10 years. I'm telling you right now, there's a lot of people in the community who who been forgave Will Smith. Like we, if you heard the stories that we've heard about the Oscars of the past, and like, and the slap was the worst of it. Yeah, and, right. And the behind the scenes dirty stuff that never oh, came yeah. to light. You got it. What is it? John Wayne trying to assault that right that, there. Yeah, um, that, that right there. Are that you, that you main thing. Literally that trying main to run thing. up on this young oh. woman in order yeah. to swap to her at best, throttle her because mm -hmm. she accepted an award and spoke the truth. Mm -hmm. Miss me with the BS. Yeah. So, circling mm -hmm. though, to state it, that's what needs to happen. Just don't participate. Nobody needs the Oscars, especially when people know your greatness, the people appreciate your talent, and are the only ones who matter. And this is true. Mm -hmm. There's there. Fun fact. Angela was offered the role of, of that Halle Berry took in Monsters Ball. She turned it down because of that scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. You want me to do what? Wait. Nope. You want me For to do what? <laughs> For what? <laughs> uh, it, and the yeah. fact that it's only been two women of color in its 95 Five. history. Yeah. That it won. To get that award mm -hmm. that Michelle Yeoh has won. And that Halle Berry is one is a is is a testament of saying y'all are so behind the times. But look at how. But look at the. But look at the direct. The yeah, they don't care Man. about the time. It's not. They don't, they don't care about the time. But, but look at the perception. Michelle mm -hmm. Yeoh, who rightfully, who rightfully, respectfully, should another one who another time, one who I broken. enjoy watching and everything. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> mm -hmm. but they show her in a positive image. We don't get the same. No, like never. you can't, you can't get someone that's literally we. It's like, and again, I'm not trying to say that we want recognition, but it's like we see what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Like you, we see what you're basically making us jump through every one of these hoops just to just to sit there and say, okay, we'll give you what you want now. No, mm -hmm. no. And, and that's the one thing where again, we 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 felt we all felt as a collective unit. Felt Angela Bassett when she had that just that that lean back with the head tilt to the side. She I was, was like, on. she was eighteen, she was over eight thousand shades and levels of. She yeah. was over it. I, I and, and by that time, by that time, I think we had mm -hmm. a couple. It was a couple categories and maybe two more categories in between that until Kang and Killmonger showed up. Mm. Hey, mm -hmm. talking about double scoop of chocolate. This is what the understanding <laughs> the assignment looks like. Mm -hmm. Coming out with Michael B. Jordan saying, "Hey, Auntie," and Jonathan B. Major or Jonathan Major saying, "We love you," mm -hmm. and then he hits him with the "Mm hmm," and the collective <laughs> understood we all, we what that meant. It. We all knew it. Is 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 literally the universal head nod. We knew we like yeah. Queen. Just say the word. Well, Bernie told you down immediately. We're gonna kill Monger right in this motherfucker right now. Little, 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 let's know the word. <laughs> oh, that theater, that that theater got a little tight. There was a lot of us at that theater that night. That's why I was like, it I think quiet. they got a little nervous. Like, you know, you know, <laughs> they got, got like, it was oh, bad last year. It's <laughs> like we don't got we got Kang up here. We got Killmonger slash Creed up here. Yeah, if, if the word is given by the queen, you got we, the door Malache there too. <laughs> the door Malache is like, if, let's go. They at the right. exit, they be like, if they not us or with us, <laughs> they ain't us. <laughs> <laughs> Burn it down. You know, so I can, <laughs> that would have been that would have been a moment just like, well, y'all y'all asked for it. Y'all yeah. wanted. Y'all wanted, wanted, wanted this. I wanted, wanted this. Wanted it. <laughs> this kind of like this kind of like that's that moment of of the what was that. 
Tales from the Hood. This is what you asked for. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're going to get it. I'm sorry, yeah, that was wrong. Yeah, and so right, so Circle Nerd says, and that's exactly what's gonna happen next. Hollywood will throw a bone of some kind to the oh, community, yeah. but we, it'll be shallow. By this time, we won't even care. No, we won't even care. And we, everyone we know will it's know it. With them. It's the same, it's the exact every single year it's the same thing the me mm. too movement they get they had all the women up on the stage parading around um mm. black lives matter uh, oh get like, ready for the, apo- the apology tour is coming the yeah. apology tour is coming they're not gonna apologize are you crazy they, i don't they're, they're, gonna gonna they're, gonna, they're, gonna, they're gonna they're not gonna do the they're apology tour. they're, they're gonna do the pa- they're gonna do pandering they're gonna do the pander they're gonna be the pander okay i don't think they're gonna apologize no the apology, that's what I mean by I say, but that's what I mean by I say apology tour. What I mean by apology tour, I mean it's gonna be a lot of pandering. It's I'm sorry, but mm-hmm. I'm sorry is gonna be replaced with let's celebrate our blackness in cinema. <laughs> that's what you're gonna get. You're gonna, you're gonna get that. next year, you're gonna get a lifetime award, and it's gonna be number black folks, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. So, that's okay, good. that's, that's, what's, gonna, that's, that's what's going on. So, we understood the full breakdown of that, like, because we, like I said, we were in the group chat together, we are, we, we, we. All were on the same page. We knew mm. where this was going. We mm-hmm. understood where this. Hell, I was. I had. I had it on mute, and I was watching The Last of Us. We'll get to that in a little bit. That part. But <laughs> <laughs> that part. I only. I only <laughs> unmuted it on parts that on, on categories that I felt you know I wanted to really see. And and for the most part, other than that, the people that we generally chose to win, they won. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get into those. Now, these are the positive points. Mm-hmm. Congratulations to Brendan Fraser. Jesus Christ. Very much deserved. I, so, I so want him Very to go. I saw him want to go off in a speech. I, I so want him to go off. I, I <laughs> he can't. He's got to keep his job. He, he can't just he, you know what? He just got off a black ball. He, he just he just did he just got off. He just got off a punishment, okay? I mean, he's fat. He got, like he's uh, in the same boat as as Angela is. He's yeah. on a he's even in a worse position now because now he's got something to lose. He's even, he's at yeah. the, the height of what it is that he wanted but you, to do. But you can look at his face. I'm like, just say what you want to say. Yeah, cuz I see it. Yeah. No, he ha- he he has that cuz he did it before and then and mm-hmm. like Lanny said it, it's the it's the black ball. But you know what? You earned mm. this. Mm-hmm. No, no, that, that's- we once again, and I've said it in conversations before. He's that guy that your aunt brings over to the barbecue, and it's just like that. Will it's like that Fresh Prince episode when the one aunt brings in Dietrich Bader, that's the new uh, husband, and they're and they're just like, oh, but he's cool because he playing with the cousins. He can play spades. He stays behind. He cleans up the kitchen. <laughs> He like the whole night. The cousins love him, you know. The uncles is down. He's good. Yeah, he, he's good. Yeah, yeah. He ain't. I don't see him. No, he he's, all right. He's, he's he ain't at the barbecue quite yet, but he all right. He, he, he all right. He's he's getting there. <laughs> He's no, he, he, I, think he, I think he's at the gate. I think he's at the he's gate. At the he's gate. Gonna, you know, about all the we'll food. pass him a plate yeah. when everything's he, done. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he's fascinated by the food. He's fascinated, he's fascinated by because like, he, he sees Keanu in there and he was just like, well, you know, he's. Well, Keanu. That's that's week. my cousin. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. we related. My cousin. We actually a little bit related. To, but yeah, right. <laughs> a little bit. He's in. He's okay. But right. you know. But yeah. Congratulations, Brenda Frederick. Like we have been one of the other people that we literally have been rooting for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For years. For mm-hmm. years. I have yet to hear a person say they hate the mummy, or Airheads, oh. or Encino Man. Yeah. Uh, you know, I just like, I mean, I have the yeah. past was actually a decent movie. I mean, yeah, back, yeah, back in fact. Um, if you catch it, another blinking you miss a scene, him and Adam Sandler was up, and you know, they were both in airheads together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And when Brandon Wood look at Adam's face, he was so excited for his boy. Mm-hmm. Like, he everything went out the way, he was like, I don't give a fuck about this. <laughs> <laughs> My guy just won, you know. Mm-hmm. He came back from the from the caverns. He's back. He's here, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> he said, "Yes, he'll bring beer. To, he'll bring beer to the barbecue. End up dancing with someone drunk." That is definitely this is true. I, I can see that. I can see that. This is true. That's true. That's teaching him the electric slide with the drunk. Yeah. And it, and it, he'll be awkward, but it'll be all right. <laughs> and he was, and he would own that awkwardness too. Yeah, exactly. He would be awkward, but he would own it. That's, 
Yeah. You gotta oh. touch the ground when you well, you gotta touch the ground when you kick over. You gotta touch the ground. And then go bop. <laughs> you, you gotta bring the, you gotta bring the shoulder in with it. I'm gonna okay? get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm like, we know you're gonna get it. We're gonna make sure you get it. Uh, <laughs> Black Spartan, you said a couple weeks ago that like he is he is getting in fighting shape. Oh yeah. He's been coming back, and it seemed like every award show he's getting slimmer and slimmer mm-hmm. and don't you tell me he about to play Rick O'Connell again. Don't you dare. <laughs> you know it's coming. Let there, at some let point. Let there be another you moment. Mm-hmm. Rachel Wise is still around. Let there be another moment. Let there be another moment. Everybody's still alive. So yeah. everybody's still there. Don't, <laughs> like, don't mm-hmm. touch wood quick. <laughs> Shit. It's all around me. It's all around me. Oh, that's catching. Hold on. <laughs> it's all around me. But yeah, uh, congratulations to him. He's he's he was well earned. The well is a fantastic film. It it mm-hmm. it is a heart wrenching, uh, some heart wrenching scenes. He the man can act. He can yeah. act. Mm-hmm. He can obviously act. <sighs> Here's another one that just. <clears throat> It, it it did it did so it did it made some moves on me. Hold on, Georgia the Jungle, the Next Generation. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Yeah, but it's right. I'll take Dudley Do Right before Georgia the Jungle. Yeah, that's like, I can see another Georgia Jungle. Just have a Mel Brooks run it. Sweet. Watch Here History of the World Part Two. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. Oh, it's fun stuff. <laughs> oh, I love History of the World Part Two. Um. Another moment in the, the another massively positive, which it, be, between the Brendan Fraser thing and this one, this was Kiwai Kwan. My God, man! And seeing that picture, seeing mm-hmm. when when that, I didn't see have, I didn't see that part live, but oh my God, yeah. seeing that yeah, picture when I see first saw him, it, it gave me chills. I, it is I cried a little when when God. Harrison, yeah, <laughs> right? it does. It yeah. gives you a little tear because yeah. you right? see Harrison Harrison's. We never get to see Harrison Ford smile. Never. Right. <laughs> oh, I don't He's always like a grumpy old grandpa. Like he, yeah. see, he sees this boy that came back from the death mm-hmm. and won an Oscar, and he's just mm-hmm. so excited. Like yep. he is just jumping, and I'm like, that's genuine happiness right there. This guy oh, yeah. is in it. He is yeah. in it. And, and the fact I mean, you could capture in a picture like that. Yeah. Yes. I mean, yeah. He Before couldn't be ever. more. His speech was moving. Uh, mm-hmm. He talking to his mother and just speaking the words. Just the man is making. And here, here's the thing. There's another speech he does. Like you know when they the, the, behind the scenes when they're talking to the press and everything. And this is where that picture was taken from. Mm-hmm. Um, for those who don't know, Jeff Cohen is his entertainment lawyer. For those who really don't know, Jeff Cohen played Chunk in The Goonies. Truffle shuffle. Truffle Ooh. shuffle. <laughs> it gets better. It gets better it's when he decided. For me. It is when he decided to come back into acting. That's who he reached out to. Mm-hmm. So, so Jeff Cohen, who plays Chunk, mm-hmm. got him back in. Sean Astin called him. Corey Feldman called him. Josh Brolin called him. Kerry Green, Martha Plimpton, they all called him. Mm-hmm. In other words. Goonies never say die. God, yes. Yeah. That oh, I worn so that shirt. dope. <laughs> and he that, actually that was said it. that. He said that in that speech, not in the speech, but in the to the press. He yeah. was talking about all of them and how they checked on. I said, you know what? Stop. We get we get in the Goonies Stop. movie. There's no way we're not getting a Goonies movie. Something's coming. That, that had me tear. That had I me don't tear. care if it, I don't care if it's a skit and they all show up. Like that's, Saturday that's Night that's Live, get on it. Thank you. That's, that's, that's yes. yeah. absolutely. You know, and it and it was. It made you extremely happy mm-hmm. for these people mm-hmm. that really you seen their stories unfolding. Fun fact: mm-hmm. He also was the fight coordinator on X Men. Um, <laughs> so he worked. He, even though he wasn't acting, he was working behind the scenes because he felt like oh. you know it's really rough on child actors. It's just mm-hmm. rough, mm-hmm. you know. So to come back. From there, and there's another picture of when he hugs Harrison Ford. There's another picture where he's short round and he's hugging Indy, and I'm like, "Stop tugging mm-hmm. at the heartstrings! Yeah. Stop it! Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're killing me right now! Stop it! Now I gotta go watch the Temple of Doom. I mean, I always watch the Temple of Doom. It's I mean, just, it's, yeah, it's, that's, that's it's the Temple of Doom movie. <laughs> Family time. Yeah. But now I'm watching the Temple of Doom with a whole new different purpose. Goonies and say never say die takes on a whole different meaning now. Yeah. And 
Congratulations, to yeah. <laughs> God, oh. that, that 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 was that's the two positives of the night was those was was him and uh, Brandon Frazier. It's just especially when you see with the backstory behind the Goonies that that dude. I was like, okay, I can't I can't watch The Last of Us because I'm already here and I know it's, <laughs> I know Last of Us is gonna take me somewhere else. So I'm gonna need a I'm gonna need Ooh. a moment. <laughs> oh my yeah, god, that part. It. So and I didn't grab a pick, but. Uh, Congratulations to the entire crew of Everything Everywhere All at Once. They did clean up, but congratulations to Michelle Yo. Yeah. Yes. Very much. Uh, well deserved. Been earned. Mm -hmm. Been earned. Mm -hmm. Crouching yeah, Tiger, it, it, Hidden it, it, Dragon. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand how she did not get any kind of an honor. Anyway. Yeah, mm -hmm. Auntie Michelle. Exactly. Well, well, what was Auntie, talking about Michelle. Auntie Michelle. I mean, exactly. You know, She's Auntie Michelle. Mm-hmm. Let's not forget about James Hong. He's uncle to every damn body. Oh, God. <laughs> he 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 had a little. He sat there and said exactly what was on his heart. I was like, oh, you know he was what? like, I've been on this right. planet for ninety four years. I'm going to speak. What, what are you going to do? Not hire me anymore? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, the checks I'm like, from that I'm movie like, alone has got him covered. I'm like, mm. give him a plate. Get him a plate and let him just. See, right. that's the, that's that's the see that's the uncle that you have at the grill that's criticizing, but he gonna make sure your food is right. Yeah, mm. he really is the one. He was just like, man, my mama didn't kick me out. He gonna put some sense into your head. I'm sorry. He does. <laughs> yeah. He is. He is the guy that works at the corner store or has the food truck. <laughs> it was like he's gonna... the one that watched you. The one that watched you grow up at the convenience store. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Listen, he, that he part. is that one. He's that, that one. part. <laughs> he was just like, you know what? Take this down here. To, your mama say, take this plate down here to Mister Hong. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. They never, never questioned it. They never questioned <laughs> it. And then he gives you like, here's your cigarettes and our beer. Did it? That right there. <laughs> that right there. It was a plastic bag over here. You get here. I thought I was going to get Oh my god. So I'm, I'm glad that. It, and here's the crazy thing. Michelle Yeoh is going to be in another show that's on Disney Plus, mm -hmm. American Born Chinese. And I'm just like, is she's in it? I'm watching it. Like, <laughs> I, I've seen a lot of her stuff, you know. And Gunpowder Milkshake. Also, <laughs> I'm just mm -hmm. like, oh, you got her and Angela, Queen Angela. It, it, mm -hmm. Sign me up. Um, where do I <laughs> sign up? Just, I'll call off work. Don't worry about it. Um, compared to that others, part. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm watching this. That part. I'm watching this. You know. To the point, I, like she got injured. I'm like, oh no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. not the not the two major ones. No, <laughs> Michelle is no, she's not. I don't think oh, she's she 75. Does. She's like in her fifties. I thought. Yeah, she's in her fifties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's in, she, she in her, she, she's now you're gonna make me look. Yeah, hold check up. it out. Mm -hmm. yeah, look it up here. Mama is not in her fifties no more. Really? Oh, I oh, she, oh, she's she crossed the sixty. She oh, crossed baby, 60. Really? Oh, I'm very certain. <laughs> she's 60. She yeah, she's 60. Yeah, yeah, Damn. yeah. Okay, I hate to be yeah, the elephant in the room, but no, yeah. what is it? Um, yellow don't mellow. That's I think yellow that's the phrase. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I think, I'm not trying to be rude. So she's 60. The oh, queen no. is 64. I knew, I knew he was about to say that. Mm. I knew he was about and to say that. But you Jamie know what? Lee is, what Curtis is, is 64. Stop it, <laughs> sir. <laughs> you on timeout. You're on timeout. I'm, time I'm just gonna say, uh, I'm white, gonna white go privilege over here. I'm gonna stand privilege. over in the corner for a little bit. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, white privilege does not age. Did, 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 did I take the penny Listen. too far? Mm -hmm. Now, okay. Jamie look. Jamie looks good. Don't get me wrong. But... For, for a woman of her age and ethnicity, she looks very, very, very good. She's no queen and no auntie. That's for sure. I'm just saying. <laughs> but she don't look. Like <laughs> she's not <laughs> auntie. She's not. She's she approaching forty. <laughs> she's she not approaching forty. No. <laughs> Asian don't raise, and that's it. That, that queen it Jasmine. That's that's what it is. Oh, that's what it is. I apologize. <laughs> very much so. That was very. She funny. needs very more activity really and proactive. Okay. Ooh. But I'm on timeout. <laughs> <laughs> She needs that next I, I level just, up. I was saying, boy, they, they, as they, as you know, that the the tartar flavored people don't really age well. <laughs> the mayonnaise, the, the shot that you the just mayo, fired. Mayo, <laughs> the cream, the cream cheese, Fury's the cream not cheese. Not broke. Oh lord! 
And you might as well say curdled milk now. I, I, I just say I just say the the processed salt. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Will has been working on this when he was in the gym all night. I swear Ooh. to God, it wasn't me. Yo, several of nerds that you are in time. I was gonna say, I was gonna say, all of us right now. This is why, when I started out podcasting, this is why I fit in so well with that crew because that's my mentor over there. He was just like, oh. Oh, you're, you're yeah, yeah, you're you're fitting okay. in. You, you fit in. I thought, you, fit. Um, you fit I thought, in. I thought I was gonna say something worse than that. I had, I literally, I that Listen, true, have, true lies, true Jamie Lee. Lies. That was a different yeah. vibe. Yeah. 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 And you know they're coming back with a true lies, but it's not with them. It's, no, it's yeah. like a it's, it's a remake. It's a, some I'm like, kind oh, of it's, goodness. Goodness. it's one of them it's things where you do it too little, too late. This is like the only one that's like when it comes to those shows that try to capitalize on those old properties. The only one that seems to be making it right now is Magnum PI. Yeah, but they changed. I mean, I mean, they, I mean Hawaii Five O did too. Actually, the funny part yeah. is Hawaii Five O for the long. Yeah, Hawaii Five O did too. One. Yeah, yeah. And then so, you know they they killed MacGyver. I was kind of mad about that. Oh mm. well, yeah, MacGyver was good. How do you kill MacGyver? It's a man that creates stuff out of nothing. It's science. <laughs> <laughs> because I still try. I still try to make. I still don't like science. Remember. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the people that, that those are the flavorless Twinkies. Okay, <laughs> they have those. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Get my notebook out again. Uh, I, I, I shut up. I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm, I'm just. I'm MacGyver, just the original MacGyver had me trying to make a rocket launcher out of a muffler, cotton, and alcohol. I, I'm just in a tail light. I mean, I mean, I'm so <laughs> I mean, there's I say, MacGyver, MacGyver taught me how to make a potato gun. That's what I'm like. <laughs> Damn right, Jasmine. Between between him and Mr. Wizard. Uh <laughs> yeah, right. Ooh, they need to bring back Mr. Wizard. <laughs> Actually, well, Mr. Wizard and Beekman's world. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Wow. yeah. You are bringing it back. There we go. Ooh. That was oh, my that. childhood. Wait. Learning, learning chemistry by destruction. MacGyver. Fast. MacGyver. Mr. Wizard, Beekman's world, and Bill Nye the science guy all walk yeah. into a room. Who's coming out alive? <laughs> I'm like, no, I, I don't think. Not only are they no, all coming Bill out alive. Bill, Nye, Bill is gutter. Nah, no, dude, Bill, Bill is gutter. He Bill is gutter. He's the dark side. That's what I'm yeah, like. No, he's like he, he with the Lord. shits, man. Yeah, <laughs> with, the first time I seen it, I'm like, oh. Oh. Yeah. That, this I like is why I said it. I liked you before, but I really I like you like now. now. <laughs> <laughs> and and yeah, that, he, it's how you learn science, through destruction. Yeah, he is. He's a national treasure. Like when Bill will break some stuff down. And mm -hmm. what's her name? Jane Goodman. That's yep. the other one. <laughs> she will shut some ooh, shit down. Oh, I want ooh, her to she... host the Oscars next year. <laughs> oh, she will shut I want her to host the Oscars. Oh, not next wait, wait. You really Jane. want the drama. Jane <laughs> Elliott. You Jane really Elliot. want the drama. I'm here for Kara. Is it Jane Elliott? Is it Jane Elliott? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, are you talking? Uh, oh, no, no. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's I know Jane Elliott. Are y'all talking Jane Elliott? Yeah. Yeah. Jane Elliott? Yeah. Yeah. Jane Elliott. Yeah. Yeah. Even the yeah. white woman who like shuts down race is so Elliot. good. That's that's her. Yeah, Jane Elliott. yeah. Jane okay. Jane Elliott. Somebody else. Okay. She's she's up there with Betty White. Like you protect them at all costs. Absolutely. At all costs. You want to do her experiment costs. at the Oscars? I yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm here for the And I want the, the ASL interpreter right next to her too. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> I am not against that because number one, that's gonna be <laughs> entertainment for us. Oh, like, you're gonna see a whole bunch of them break down like fiats. That's all <laughs> yeah, Bill Nye is he's on so he's on some next level mad scientist stuff. I mm. would not mess with him. You're right, but Bill Nye is with the shits. Don't get that. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. He's with it. He mm. will not play. <laughs> Every time he get on, I'm like, oh, you came off the the kid network and you went raw. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> He, he, became, was, he was he in for it. All, he became what we always thought he was. And he, <laughs> he, he became. <laughs> you are what we thought you were. It was a, <laughs> it's like, oh, man. We're going to take this quick break, and we're going to do our The Last of Us season finale. We're going to do like a quick breakdown of the entire nine-episode series. It should have been ten, but we're going to go. We're going to talk about that it part. right yeah. after this commercial. This just in. Feeling groggy in the morning? 
Coffee just can't give you that pep in the step that you're looking for? Try Pop Starts for that great get up and go that adults need. Pop Starts has the vitamin and nutrients that only grown ups can partake in. And with flavors such as tossed salad and scrambled eggs and Jack Daniels and Bud Light flavors to start your day or end it, there's nothing better to wake up to unless you count that depressing cubicle job. Well, anyway, try Pop Starts today. Pop Starts is not part of the Kellogg's Corporation. Pop Starts could give you diarrhea. Pop Starts are not found in your local grocery store. Real quick, <laughs> Queen Jasper said, Yo. Bill said, y'all grown now. Uh, <laughs> Circle of Nerves, they said, yeah, Bill is one bad day away from becoming a super villain. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be one hell of a super villain, too. Oh, I my God. Because, you know, it, it, there is be intricate. Yeah. <laughs> Evil is but one day away. away. Uh, <laughs> So, we have been privileged for a nine-episode series of The Last of Us based off the video game. And I, I got to say, it's it's extremely hard, number one, to do these type of adaptations. Mm -hmm. Anytime, and, and we've watched the progression of video games to live action in some one form or another, or CGI, whichever you want to go. And... For the most part, they always fall on their face, or they turn left and steer away from the the core material or whatever, mm -hmm. and make unnecessary sequels uh, <laughs> that have nothing to do with the the genre whatsoever. Ned. Sorry, Mila. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> not sorry, <laughs> but with the exception of Sonic in Sonic Two, mm -hmm. which if it wasn't for the villainy that is that is Twitter. <laughs> we wouldn't have gotten the Sonic we got. Dumpster fire. <laughs> we justified we justified online bullying. <laughs> online bullying yes. was justified. Je you're right, Queen Jasmine. Uncharted should not have happened. It it not, it should have happened, happened with a multitude of different that. people. It, and it yeah, yeah. A script. It, it's not it was <laughs> they, they yeah. took they took the it guy and three men so it's not. I'm not putting it on him. And you yeah. mix two different games together. Yeah, yeah. And and let's face it. If you've seen the 20 minute fan film starring our fan, Nathan our Fillion. favorite Nathan Fillion. Fillion. Yeah. That Chef's was the kiss. movie. That was the movie. Mm -hmm. that Chef's was. kiss. Absolutely. <laughs> so if you ever get a chance, look up Uncharted starring Nathan Fillion on YouTube. You'll be thoroughly enjoyed. You're just like, it was him all along. Uh, <laughs> but we are getting the year as what Kira has called him uh, Space Daddy uh, Post-Apocalyptic Daddy I have got to uh, get her bracelets I have to, get here. I have to go find Kira her gauntlets for this stuff Yeah, she's on, bra she's on bra bracelets by this point <laughs> um, <laughs> The choking. rings are done They're not just on bracelets <laughs> uh, <laughs> So Ladies, I know I know Geek by Heart has played uh, uh played The Last of Us. I've played parts of it. I think you've played it, Lady Mandalorian. I'm pretty sure you have I, too. Black I Star. actually mm -hmm. just started playing it okay. last night into today. I'm only up. Great to gameplay. Yes. Yeah. It's great really gameplay. Um it's doing it's it's one, it's breaking records. It broke records. It mm -hmm. broke records. Well, one one second, one second, Chris. Mm. Laney. I know I knew he's gonna come for me. Laney. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need you to I, run me something real quick. I am not prepared <laughs> because I have to compare the numbers of this to House of the Dragon. However, but the but the world, but they did it. They did it, they did it, they did it already. I'm just saying, whenever you get I the think it's, I think it passed, I, I think it passed GOT. Pass, it did pass House of the Dragon. Yeah. Yeah, but, they, but they, yeah, they, 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 they handled it. They handled it. I, I mm -hmm. knew you was coming. I knew I'm just saying. I was, I, we, we, we here, and I just run up, run up by coin. Is what she saying? Yeah, yeah basically. Run so, run up by coin. <laughs> it's it's safe to say I have that. To wipe, wear your shirt now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's safe to say that one. They, you know, with whatever liberties they've taken, we were okay with. Mm -hmm. yep. And visually, they got this it, mm -hmm. frame for freaking frame. Yeah, and uh, and it, it helps that they have some of the voice actors mm -hmm. dealing with this. And I have a theory about some of that too. 
Um, because because we well here's my theory. The thing that James Gunn had released maybe two months ago about DC and using voice actors from mm. animated series oh, and crossing them over. And I'm like, mm. this was your testing ground, wasn't it? Mm. This was your sure. testing ground to see if you could do it. it and really you did it. It's a high garden. Tell him it was me. Tell tell Cersei. I mean, it was what, what if you did it too? Tell Cersei it was me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that line that, that line would go down in infamy. Uh, <laughs> He's also could be fed at the cookout. I ain't never heard nine words that raw before. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like Big Town Care already got you. <laughs> That's right. I'm already dying. I'm, I'm done, but <laughs> tell him it was me. Mm-hmm. Yo, that's some Godfather stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I want Sessie to know it was just just as she's it sipping me. it. I want Sessie to know it was me. Yeah. <laughs> Head tea. <laughs> And I'm I sorry. put my stamp of approval on that. that was I think it has to be out while I was out. <laughs> yeah, no, yes. But um, mm. Last of Us, uh, visually stunning. Mm-hmm. Uh, it, it reels you in. They do not waste time getting to it. They they give you a nice quick setup, like in the first, what, 10 minutes yep. of the first episode. So they give it, they're giving you the setup and they're just putting it there and they run with it. And Sarah, who plays Joel's daughter, is Tandy Newton's daughter. I kept looking at that girl. I'm like, like why what? do you look totally familiar? Okay. And then when they had them side by side, I'm like, oh, okay, that's why you that's familiar. familiar. You look like your mama. mama. <laughs> mm-hmm. oh, she spit her out. <laughs> she spit her out. Yeah, yeah. Them jeans is strong. <laughs> they are. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like now, get, now that you say that, she's giving me ER vibes when she was in ER. Yeah. See? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it, it it reels you in. Even in the game, it didn't reel you in like this because no. it, it struck so much harder. Mm-hmm. And when the only thing that threw me off was like, okay, and it's it's about twenty years later, and I'm like, and Joel has not aged a day. That Spanish blood is strong, baby. Uh, <laughs> we we got to think about something like that. Yeah, Asian, you know, racing, we got Spanish. Don't yeah. we got to do something? Spanish yeah. don't tarnish or something. Something we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out something. Chilean is staying. I don't know. Something. <laughs> Chilean. <laughs> It'll work. It'll work. You, you make it. Work. I'm terrible. <laughs> and more, and more, more on the Afro Latina side too. Because yeah. you know the. the mm-hmm. Just saying. We, we, we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm mm-hmm. there. I, I've got a creative mind. I'll figure it out. Uh, <laughs> but it's good. It is. It's it's freaking good. Mm-hmm. Uh, they got uh, Lady of the North. I'm like, how could you not follow her? She she courted. She didn't court, but she coined Jon Snow, mm-hmm. King of the North. Why the hell not? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. She's amazing. Amazing. Amazing actress. She's British as well. So that makes a lot of sense. Uh, <laughs> so, something about the British and their acting is impeccable. Is she British or Irish? British. Might be Irish. I think she's Irish. Is she, is she British? It might be both. Who knows? Well, I'm going to look it up too. Yeah, we got to find Google's out. My, Google's my best friend. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. Our little bear. British. British. She's British. Oh, she's British. She's British. That makes sense because she's Hi, fantastic at <laughs> with yeah. a nice fantastic American guy. accent, but she's yeah. British. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna do the round the round table. Geek by heart, we're gonna start with you. Stop. What was your take from this? Just the show overall. <sighs> the first episode to ninth episode. Should we have a? Should we had a number uh, uh, tenth episode? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> and I and I say that because. <clears throat> um, and I'll be honest with you. For the record, I've only played it once because I am I am not a duck and cover person. I like God of War. I like <laughs> I'm not get, get your hands um, in. Le- it. Legend- <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That is my kind of um, gameplay. So I like I played it just for the experience. But then after that, mm-hmm. I would watch it over and over again on YouTube. Mm-hmm. With that being said, there I, if, if for nothing else, we should have gotten more scenes with clickers, and I missed it especially. Especially with David in that episode, because I felt like first that episode should have been a little bit longer mm-hmm. because one of the reasons why you fell for David so hard is like, oh shit, he's a villain is because the first, I would say half an hour to 40 minutes of you being with David, y'all are fighting clickers. 
Y'all are making small talk. Mm. They're bonding. Mm -hmm. Ellie and David are bonding. And then all of a sudden, just a little bit by little bit, he starts to get really weird. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, no, this, you, we got to get out of Dodge. Yeah. He need to go. We got to get out of Dodge. It's, it's and like so like, yeah. And so like, you only had about two really good episodes that had genuine clickers and really only one of them that was in the museum. Then that was the second episode. And mm -hmm. then with the fifth one, you had the invasion rightfully. So that is straight from the game. Mm. Ooh, so <laughs> straight from the game. Mm -hmm. Okay, and another that's voice actor was in that worse. one that's too. Yeah, there's worse. That's worse than Walker's. So I swear to God. Oh man! No. But I, I, yeah, I, I appreciate that they really made it character driven. You know what I'm saying? And just to your point, mm -hmm. like there was just so many things that hit so much harder because they took the time to establish it and draw it out. But I think if they would have even gone one more episode, then that means there could have been a little bit more of that world that is swarmed by the monsters that we just didn't get. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think that to me would have made it a perfect adaptation. It was good. It was very good. And that's not just even saying that because we have the Resident Evil, we have the Silent Hills, we have the, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but even just on its own, listen, I'm a Silent Hill fan too. We can talk <laughs> about that as well. Um, okay. Even just okay. on its mm -hmm. own, it is it, is, it was just so masterfully done. And the things that they added in, it just made all the sense to make it even more of an of an experience. It, it, it was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, Lady Mandalore. <laughs> First and foremost, I, I'm pausing because I'm trying to form my words, but outside <laughs> of me getting myself together, the, the show is perfect. In my opinion, um, fair, and this is somebody assessment. that that did not get a chance to play the video game because people kept <coughs> spoiling the motherfucker. <laughs> so there was no point in me playing it if <laughs> that was just gonna tell me what was gonna happen. Um, as Blaney is talking about wanting more clickers, I definitely wanted more clickers. Absolutely. Um, Great job on the on the on the prosthetics and the makeup on that. By the way, mm -hmm. magic. Magic. I do not. Okay. If they don't get nominated for one thing, it's going to be um, costume and yeah. uh, design. Uh, that kind makeup, of thing. makeup, 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 and yeah, makeup, and special effect, visual effects. Yeah. Um, mm. I, I, I'm thinking they maybe they sacrificed the clickers to get more actors and be able to go to different scenes and build that storyline. Mm -hmm. That might have been where the mm. the money issue might have come in what you're sacrificing so. instead of so. you're you're building more of a story which is what what the what the show and the game is actually about it is the story yes the clickers are there yes there's always danger but it's really the story of these two characters making it through the, through this new world and build and trying to well make a new life for themselves yeah. amongst yeah. all of this so i wouldn't change a thing even though even though it's something that i want to see um I don't mind the clickers not being there as much. It, I think that, it, and, and like Queen Jasmine said, it, she says they, they, they found a, she likes the balance they took and she loves how part of the nature are the infected. That's the scary part. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's the scary part. It was just like, oh yeah, miles away, you can get this one and, you know, kill this one, but because they're connected, you know, miles away. But you didn't see that a lot. Yeah. No, you didn't. And but that was then, a, and that was an interesting concept because they they took it away from the spores. Yeah, yeah. and it, you're just like, how are you? Yeah, how do you get away from this? <laughs> exactly, Ex exactly. All right, Black Spartan, what did you think? <clears throat> okay, um, I was trying to sort this out without not going into a rant. Um, <laughs> just because I am a That's fan great. of Naughty Dog, I've been a fan of Naughty Dog since mm -hmm. Crash Bandicoot. Facts. Mm -hmm. And then Uncharted, and then. Of course, The Last of Us. Uh, and because I apparently have no time, little, very, a lot of time on my hands and forget how to sleep, decided to play the game along with the episodes. So uh, adaptation wise, I think it was great. I did not want, and this is going to sound very controversial, I did not want a perfect adaptation. Number one, because it would be almost impossible to pull off, especially if you look at the pace of the video game versus how they're doing the episodes. I mean, by episode two, you're already at Bill's Town. 
And of course, that in itself is a whole nother story that really the game takes into a direction that takes longer to do than in a hour storytelling of uh, an hour storytelling episode. Um, the clickers, I get that because they want to show that they are the most dangerous group out there. I mean, yes, you have the bloaters and then you have uh, some other ones that, of course, are in the game. And I get that people want to see more of the clickers. You want to see more of the danger. You want to see the horrors as to what these spores can grow humans into. I get it. But the fact that we had less of that made more emphasis, like Kira said, more emphasis on the actors, on the story, on the narration, which made you focus more about the relationship between Joel and Ellie. So, um, not mad about it being nine episodes, because number one, um, it drove people to actually play The Last of Us, because there was a lot more story in The Last of Us than there actually is in the show. Yeah. So, you know, kudos for directing traffic to PlayStation, where people either bought it or went to PlayStation Plus and got it. Right. Um, <laughs> but second is that this, and I, and I know I've said this on, on our group chat and many other spots, this is probably the best example of a video game ad adaptation that you'll see. Only reason uh -huh. because you had the original writer for the video game involved with the show. You had the voice actors that were there also involved with the show. Um, you literally took the time to tell a story that was already there but just adapt it for television. And even even more so for a lot of people that don't know, unless you really went back and played the game, the initial backstory that you actually see at the beginning was actually what was playing as a, as a actual recording during the first part of The Last of Us. So the whole television, you know, the, the, uh, the professor being asked what happens if plants evolve beyond a certain point mm. is actually a voice recording in the game. So oh, again, know. leads to more backstory. Like mm -hmm. everybody, because I know a lot of friends of mine who are just like me can recite video games back and forth. Like, wait a second, which <laughs> part of that was actually in there? That was the beginning and playing in the background. So again, it's one of those things where they took just enough to where it can tell a story on television. But again, it's it's like the it's like uh it's like Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit. It's going to hopefully drive people back to the original to the original source material and they can enjoy it in its full, in its full entirely. Um, did it need 10 episodes? I don't think so. Because 10 episodes would have been like, okay, we got our fill, but now we're just being greedy. I don't mean to... Not, in, not as, again... No, I, no, I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. And I, and I say that because, yes, we can be greedy when something is good. Um and I know I have an issue because I told you guys I have an issue with odd numbers, especially with things ending on odd numbers. It just doesn't <laughs> right for me. Um, but nine episodes to where they told it all the way up into the hospital was probably the best way to actually sum up a video game adaptation to where you can keep people's attention, but still keep the story fresh, but still emphasize on the two character on the two main protagonists. So I mean, overall. It was great. I have I had no issues. Again, I'm with you, Lainey, uh, and and Kira. If this does not get nominated for visual arts, uh, visual arts and, and makeup, at least get mentioned. Yeah, yeah. at least, at least. Mentioned just because. I mean, don't get me wrong about the Walking Dead. I mean, love the Walking Dead, the original, and it should end <laughs> that way. Kind of should end. It kind of really should have ended after the prison, but. <laughs> <laughs> Because it went we left after the prison. That's what we. That's what we. That's all we're saying. They ended at the prison. You know, we didn't really need the governor. But anyway, um, oh, but no, I'm just saying that. We, I disagree. Oh, I do. Yeah, I do. I do. I disagree. I disagree, I disagree, I disagree with the too. version of the governor that they made. The version of the governor, yes, it didn't need the television version. Of the governor. Morrissey wasn't that. that bad. Wait, wait. The story. They, they, they did not tell that story the way that is told in the books. Oh, this is true. Okay, and. It in the book? definitely been not on AMC. That should have been like a Showtime or HBO. Yeah. Where you can get away goes. with it. Yeah, you, can get away. Oh, right. you can get away with some stuff. Listen, we can talk about that another day too. Yeah, that's, another, that's another day. But, but as far as video, but as far as adaptations go, I think that's a prime example of how one can be done. So yeah, to, to wrap this up with a nice bow, I'm looking forward to see what they do with part two because it's going to take a lot of people off. Oh, I, see, when you ride. say that, I hope they actually do deviate. I don't want My, them to. Just enough. Are we wait? Are we okay, talking about the closing or the the ending? 
the, no uh, for part, the or or part next, two. The next, the next, the next part of the story. No, no, I know. Are you talking about the opening or the overall story? The overall. Yes, story. I'm talking about the opening. Okay. I, I, to me, I wish they would have done part one as the game, perfect, right? Mm -hmm. And then their part two, you just focus on Abby. Leave, leave those other two. Leave mm -hmm. Joel and and Ellie behind. Mm -hmm. Do a story on Abby. With her same background, so I'm not going to give spoilers to anyone who hasn't seen um, part two or doesn't know what happens, but with her same background, and then have the game that was part two be part three. That would have been, to me, a perfect trilogy. A absolute perfect Makes trilogy. And, and, and if you think about it, I don't think that people were hating on part two because the the the, the actual game itself was a quality game. Was, the story was, was great. They just hated the fact that Can't I don't want to spoil. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they yeah. just hate the fact a about the interaction of the characters. <laughs> yeah. They hated you like that. A, you did like a, a certain direction at a certain point in time where a certain there you go. It's that, it's certain that. There you <laughs> go. There you go. So Queen Jasmine says she agrees with you, Black Spartan. Uh, it, it chances the emotional voice of the story. We don't need the Walking Dead type uh, horror apply. Uh, our partners, APR TV, always press record. Go check yeah. us out. Shameless <laughs> plug. <laughs> Convinced his wife to start playing the game. She commandeered his PlayStation, and that's not cool. See, <laughs> so it's a plus and minus type of Amen thing. Amen to the wife. See, that's, see, that's why I wait for my wife to go. That's why I wait for my wife to go to sleep. <laughs> oh. So there's so there's so many levels. There's so many levels that this show has went, and I agree. I don't want a perfect ad ad adaptation. I want a good one. Mm -hmm. And this was better than good. Mm -hmm. This was actually a great adaptation to mm -hmm. me. Um, like I said, it's it's really hard to take any kind of video game and transfer it to another medium. Mm -hmm. Look at look at what I want to do with God of War. And I and I love Christopher uh Judge, Judge. Mm -hmm. as the guy to be Kratos, but you're the guy's big, die. he has the voice, he works out. But you're trying to tell a mythological story as a Spartan in live action. What are you going to do? I'm not saying it's not impossible, but, but it ain't, it ain't be easy. But. <laughs> I mean, as long as... We wouldn't be opposed to it, mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> aren't they going to focus on 2018's God of War and not, they not the previous? They, yeah. they haven't said, but the rumor is it is going to stick with the Norse mythology. And I, I feel that story in particular is a better can be better at adapted than, than the first the, trilogy. The previous one, yeah, yeah, yeah you know, absolutely. Do you really? I might say because yeah, the first three God of War games that's just basically Hercules if Hercules was rated R. Mm. <laughs> mm. Uh, let me that go part. fire this PlayStation back up. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> part. Um, so with the Last of Us, there definitely were some standout episodes. Uh, mm -hmm. Nick Offerman did not see that coming. No, did not see that. I'm no. sorry, Nick. I always see you as Ron Swanson. Let me. Let me, let me <laughs> there, was a, there was a little bit of Ron in that episode. Though. It was. Was, it was a little bit of Ron in that episode. Not like you, man, he can cook if, rabbit really well. Mm -hmm. If you watch an episode of Hot Ones, mm -hmm. you see it without yeah. question. I, I think yeah. it, the episode is like four years old now. But if mm -hmm. you watch his when he's on Hot Ones, that's the show with the hot wings and yeah. interviewing things oh, for those that uh, don't know also also you need to check out jenna ortega's hot ones i'm like this is just yeah. this shit she owned it uh but yeah you're right <laughs> nick offerman's role in in this episode what was it, episode three yeah. yeah and uh frank and bill um damn yeah <laughs> yeah well, that was a great change it was that was, I was a great change I was, Mm -hmm. I'm like, it made you feel something. Now, obviously, you had some people who were like, I don't want to see that. I'm like, look, it's a story. Whatever. It's a story. Get over it. Close I your mean, eyes. Close your, you're right. Close your eyes. It's a story. It's in the, the game. Early. It's in the freaking game. Think about it. Yeah. I mean, uh, yeah. It could have been the other way in the game. And, uh, thank yeah. you. I'm about to say, it, it, even if it wasn't the in the game, way. close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Mm -hmm. You're acting like children. You're going to um, <laughs> so, The world will keep spinning. I promise. Right, the world keeps spinning. But all I can think, of, I just kept saying, "Oh, this is what it would look like if Ron Swanson survived the apocalypse." Yeah, he's got this planned out. It's fine. He's fine. He's I mean, fine. He's fine. Good Lord, this man planned. He had that whole town planned. He had that whole he town sure planned. He sure did. I said, "Damn, dude, this is amazing." 
See, I need to come to your house. That's you know, <laughs> that, that's that's the plus and minus of preppers because they always have a plan. And if stuff goes sideways, it's good to go with them. Yeah. But the level of planning is a little bit on the murderous side. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> like if you ain't oh, with yeah. us, you against us. That's all it. <laughs> mm-hmm. that's all. But so if yeah, you ain't with us, you dead. That's what it yeah, is. That's what it is. <laughs> But fantastic episode, fantastic acting, number one. Mm-hmm. And as much as he plays it straight, mm-hmm. the fact that he goes through this whole thing, waits for the military to leave, and said, all right, I'm going out I here and play. I'm about to rewire all this stuff. I'm about <laughs> to play. I'm about to play and go out here and get it. I'm like, oh, my man went to Home Depot and did a whole shopping tour and did the lights went out. He's like, I can oh, still shop. Well, uh, <laughs> I mean, just <laughs> headlights kick on. Okay, this is fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was waiting on I this. I know my way around. I know my yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, it makes me think of Parkers and Rec. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't know anything that I know. Of. You. <laughs> I why are you people. talking to me? <laughs> how do you go straight to the? How do you go straight to the to the actual uh, electric utilities? Is like okay, this this and uh, yeah, we're yeah. not now. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's a, it's an amazing episode watching the whole prepping thing, and then my man sits down and cooks a whole gourmet meal, and I'm like. I'm hungry and I'm watching this at eleven at night. Um, mm. <laughs> I don't need to eat at eleven at night. I just, <laughs> I but now it. I got a taste for some filet mignon, mignet, mignet, and <laughs> <laughs> some, <laughs> some braised baby carrots, and you know. So, but yeah, I each episode and and once again, shout out to Storm Reed. Good mm-hmm. lord, um, th- that young woman is is tearing up the acting scene, mm-hmm. and she. If you're not watching her, you need to be. Um, but just across the board, the acting has been amazing. Mm-hmm. I haven't been upset with anybody's portrayal or how they they put in everything out. The one with the brothers was, I seen it coming, and yet the heartbreak is still there. I had to prepare a lot of people for that one. It's like, look, yeah. you see two black guys. You see a, a I seen brother, it coming. and with that... Prepare I, yourself for the end. That's all mm-hmm. I'm yeah, I was like, I see, it like when you know it's coming. If you're a fan of of Firefly and Serenity, and, and mm. you know the scene, mm. you know it's coming. Mm. It doesn't hurt any less. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a leaf on the wind. Watch how I yeah. soar. It doesn't hurt any less. But uh, contorted. Oh, I, my wife still asks me to do. Why do you jump? I'm mm. like, because I'm never ready for that. You know, mm-hmm. like, still, it's still too. It, came, it comes out of nowhere, nowhere. out of yeah. absolute nowhere. Mm-hmm. The, I don't like the it. The fact that this man <laughs> went and saved all y'all's asses, crash lands and lands it damn near perfect, and mm-hmm. still takes one and shit. still takes. Yep. Point. Oh yeah. Why? It was that? It was that? It was that? It was that feeling of safeness, like <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just dang. but it, it doesn't hurt any less and yep. but every the visuals the mm-hmm. acting pet is this the age of 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 people of color just coming out they acting bag and dominating we've been here. We've been like here. they're dominating that dominating that far here like i know we've been here but, but I, they dominating dominating I, I they see was what I see what Chris is saying because we, if you think about it, the fact that, that the roles, the roles and the stories, even though you get, Lenny, Kara, you're right, we have been there. It's just the fact that now it's being, now it's being pushed more toward edgier storytelling and you have those that can bring it out to actually go along with it and make it alive now. I mean, don't get me wrong, we've seen shades of this. I mean, go back to Lovecraft Country. We've seen shades of this. Go back to... Uh, Shout out um, to Misha Green. She just picked up another project. Uh, exactly. Right. <laughs> I mean, other ones she's, where... She's I mean, not, not even not even on the scale. I mean, go back to Shauna Rhimes. When Shauna Rhimes made Carrie Washington and gave her edgier storytelling. So you guys are right. We have been there, but now it's almost to the forefront of uh, uh, but also shout out to Orlando Jones for Mr. Not for Mr. Nazi uh, again in American Gods again. Edgar storytelling, mm-hmm. he wrote his lines. But now it's the point to where we're going to that. Look, we're at the no, we're at the area of no limits. So what we're about to do, and you give these actors and actresses like, hey, we're giving you guys free reign at this point. 
make it work however you will. And we're just yeah. seeing that talent that's already been there now shine on for the really for the world to see. It's undeniable now. Yes. Chrissy D says we've been there. We, they are green lighting more roles. We're actually shining in. This is true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, it's appreciated in our Queen Jasmine says it's appreciated in our community, but now we got bigger budgets and broader audiences. This is true. Mm -hmm. We were in our chat last night discussing this stuff and saying that when we talk about the Oscars, we almost don't even need you now. I you mean, know, we talk about these these big production houses is like we don't even need you now. You know, say what you want about Tyler Perry, but he is making moves that are necessary for I people of color. I just need him buy now and get on board and buy BT. Yeah, that's all I need. I need those two to buy BT and be done with it. But also, when that came on board, I'm like, hey, make it happen. Make it happen. Also, but also, those social media has played a big role into it, too, because it used to be just word of mouth. It used to be word of mouth among us, like, hey, did you see this? Do you see this? Now, if something happens, it's a tweet, a share, or anything else, it immediately goes viral. So that also has an impact. That also has an impact in, in how our actors and actresses are getting more and more shine, especially if something they did great back then just gets pulled up again and that just immediately gets the shot. Like, what's that one guy? Uh, uh, he played uh, Denise's husband on the Bill Cosby show. I can't think of his name to save my life oh, right now. Oh, yeah. I oh, know what you're talking about. The, the, one the, that, the, na the naval captain. The naval yeah, captain. Yeah, 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 the one that uh, uh, our favorite mom decided to viscerally uh, destroy. I cannot think of his name. Oh, Elvin? No, that's not Denise Elvin. Elvin. That's the, yeah, that's Elvin. That's Elvin. That's Elvin. That's uh, that's uh, uh, that's Sandra, Elvin. That's Elvin. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Sandra. Yeah. Sandra. Yeah. My apologies. Yeah. So you guys remember that Elvin for longest? Like someone had brought up a picture of him working at a Trader Joe's, and it's mm -hmm. like, dude, you were. Dude, you were an actor. You had this going. Why are you working at Trader Joe's? When really it was his choice. What happened mm. after that social media post? That. that man is doing. That man is right back in his bag doing shows yeah. and making impacts. And who and, again, who? and who brought him into the fold? Tyler Perry. Yup. And Tyler. So again, and so it's it, like you know, say what you want about Tyler Perry about the, <laughs> but he makes that for the general audience that comes to see those type of shows. He's mm -hmm. not wrong. He's got the formula. You can hate it all you want, but, but it works. It works. Yeah. I mean, you can't, yeah. you can't handle you can't handle a man on a dress that can make different that can make twenty different plays, and counting if memory serves me right. Yeah, I think he's working on another play. Yeah, it, 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 but it works. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, the the Last of Us has become Pedro Pedro Pascal's all over the place. Let's just put it this way. Ahead, a man Karen. held up Disney Plus and HBO Max at the same damn time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that part. Meanwhile, Kang done ran three movies in within the, in the past four or five months. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. And now he's in the the he's in the movie trailers for the army. I just can't yeah. come see the movie. Yeah. He's doing a, an army trailer. And yeah. he's going to be in season two of Loki. The man's working. All right. Yeah. yeah. They're getting that yeah. work. Like Giancarlo Esposito is in video games. He's in live action shows. The man shows up. At this point, let him play whatever the hell he wants. Let him play God and the devil. I'm here for I would him. love yeah. to see that. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to play Far Cry 6 all over again. Thanks, yeah. Chris. <laughs> Creative minds at work. But yeah, it, especially it, that one speech he gave, it's uh, over slavery. <laughs> he said, I'm, The speech I, I just seen part. where he gives Homelander, and I'm like, the you balls on this that. man, <laughs> and he's looking out the window the entire time. Like that means he cares nothing about what you can do. <laughs> you are simply, you are simply a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and walked away. He was like, "It's yours. You can have it. See how you like it." And walked mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was like, "You did me a favor, not the other way around." Mm -hmm. But uh, but yeah, Last of Us has become this streaming hit this uh, uh cable hit it's breaking numbers is busting records all over the place mm -hmm. and there hasn't been one negative that i've seen because mm -hmm. all, if it is the positive is outweighing it by by bounds mm -hmm. each episode reels you in and this is the this is the beauty of it because this like you said black spartan mm -hmm. You have people who's worked on this project for the game. You mm -hmm. brought them in to work on the show. Mm -hmm. Works in theory with what, what James Gunn is talking about. 
I believe this was their testing water. Like, can it be done? Because I know there were people who watched it and said, oh, they didn't even know. Unless you watched it, like if you're watching it on HBO Max and you get that little few minutes where they show like the behind the scenes and everything, or if mm-hmm. you even listen to the podcast mm-hmm. and stuff, you don't even know. But when it's announced, then you hear what James Gunn's announcing, and you're like, it may not work. Mm-hmm. Oh, this shows that it could work. If they listen. If, if they if listen. He, if the right people get out of the way and the, the right people are behind it, pushing it. It's sh- in it. It's always supposed to be fine. It's always supposed to be fine. When you pay attention, when you pay attention to the source material and derive from that, then you're fine. I'm looking at you, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> if I had that, if I had that Keenan, that Keenan look where he looks down, huh? that's that's. What, <laughs> I would have put that right there. I, I'm just uh, saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, Mortal Kombat. It's it's right there. Yeah. Just pointing it out. So there's definitely been a, I, it's hard to say. we have our favorites. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. We have our favorite performances, which every person that has come into the scenes has had a fantastic performance. Mm-hmm. It could for just real. be for one yeah. episode, but it's a fantastic is it's a it's a mm-hmm. Storm Reed is what 16, 17, somewhere around that age, maybe 18. Mm-hmm. I thought she was like 18, 19. Yeah, she's somewhere in the age. And just watching her body of work, like, this girl is killing the game. Mm -hmm. Her and Marcy Martin. Listen. Tearing shit up. Listen. This that grown ass woman in that red dress. I can't. Disclaimer. I can't. I still Marcy see her Martin, little kid, man. I still, yeah, I know, Marcy <laughs> Martin. You didn't have to come out the blackish bag like that, but you've been coming out the blackish bag. You, you, you've been talking to Zendaya, haven't you? Because mm. y'all too. There's a club. There is a club, <laughs> and I love it. There, I that's love the black it. Illuminati, Ooh. and it's all black women. Because name <laughs> name a time when Zendaya showed up on the carpet, and I'm like, yo, she just killed that look. Shut mm-hmm. that shit down. Let's go. Janelle yep. Monet, come on this carpet. Shut that shit down. Queen Angela, shut it down. Shut it down. And All the way. Every you look it's, at everybody else, time. you're just like, you're just like, oh, oh you and put then they on. walk into yeah. Oh, that's appropriate. It's like you put, they walk in, you're just like, <laughs> what the hell? But yeah. Every every person that's been on this on this show mm. has had these tremendous performances, and mm. you're just it. I like the fact that they build, they're building your character. They build these characters and they make you care about them. They make mm-hmm. you see them. They make you understand their story. And that last episode. Mm-hmm. The emotional hook. Once the emotional hook has been put in place. I hope for that's, the, that's a hell of an argument. Y'all already know what we're going to talk about because <laughs> spoilers. It's a, it's a hell of an argument. Um, What's. And I, I and I don't I don't see where you can go wrong either way. Right. It's just a matter of what you what you gonna do. So so this is the thing. And th- now my argument starts with this. You tasked Joe Joel to take Ellie across all these states, only to track him down and take her back. No fast track, if you ask me. <laughs> was, no, yeah. no, like what route? Yeah. What route did y'all take? Like, okay, <laughs> like, I'm I'm like, I'm like, like, did y'all give us the wrong map? Like, how? Did, like, we had a car in it. Like, where did? You, like, what? I, I mean, had people. I had people with me. I had a horse. <laughs> I had a horse and two trucks, and yet you somehow caught up with me. We, I don't, I don't know how. To, I was and, down, stabbed with a stab woman, and somehow you still caught up with me. I don't understand, but uh. Hmm. The fact that they take Ellie, they realize, okay, we have doctors that can take the cordyceps out because it's in her brain. Mm-hmm. Make the integers to, to go and give to everybody and everybody's immune. This is where Joel's parental instinct, his parental instinct and his carnal instinct are now combined. And he's just like, not again. Hell no. Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> Not again. That was a John Wick moment. Just it was a job. I'm like, oh, 
Okay. My guy. <laughs> okay. You, you need Aaron to pick up them clips field. along the way. Like, I don't know if you played I, the game, but you got to pick I up the clips. I kind of felt like I was like, did you count your mm-hmm. shots? Yeah. I was like, sir, count your shots. That's a revolver. Right. <laughs> he did, because he, he picked it up right after he killed that, what is it, the third? There you go. Yeah. He was yeah. killed. He knows what he's doing. Like, every, every third person. Mm-hmm. Take nope. <laughs> I just... And he didn't, he didn't spray. He didn't waste shots. He... Mm-mm. It was Kelly time. Mm-mm. I'm like, it oh, was yeah, time. yeah. Mm-hmm. So it became this argument of <clears throat> would you have done it to save humanity or would you have done it to save Ellie? There's no like there's, there's no <laughs> I'm with you. Like I'm with you. I'm just like, you know what? You're a straight we man. can find another way because <laughs> I'm not letting y'all do this again to me. No, uh, <laughs> I, I was, I'm along the lines of you can't guarantee that this will cure people. You're just basically taking an educated guess, and if you're still wrong, then you killed a kid. Yeah, yeah. nah, you, know, you killed like, my you kid. To, yeah, you're mm-hmm. like you killed my kid. My kid dies again, and this I can't do anything, not do anything again. Mm-hmm. And I'm just kind of like sound decision. I, sound I decision. Right. And someone yeah. someone said this on a different. Someone mean, said yeah, they will life. evolve eventually. You're right, Queen Jasmine. They, they'll evolve eventually. We'll let them figure someone, it out. <laughs> someone said this. You think they? Someone said there and said they said, "Why don't you just go seek a second opinion?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's not like doctors is coming a dime a dozen. In I was like, I, 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 I'm like, you know, this one doctor is like, wait a second, the doctor you see, which again, I can't really emphasize enough because it ties to something else. Um, oh. <laughs> I, can't, I can't emphasize it time something else um basically the whole thing of you the doctor's like i pick up a scalpel you have a gun i can't let you leave bro watch what, what, what you gonna do <laughs> okay <laughs> that should have been that should have been a moment of i'm taking it with her bro look yeah. and that's what the nurses did this that's what, they well, what we're not gonna do <laughs> you say the nurse is like all right yo that, and that, was, that was that was instantly what we not gonna do, right? Um, you know, you know, one of the nurses was Abby, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. the voice actress. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh come I on! I was like, they, they, I told you, test the water. The they, I'm not saying nothing. They I'm said not it. They tested the end in the in the behind the scenes stuff. They mm-hmm. sat there and said that that was the, that was the voice actor for Abby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So the, this is testing waters. I'm telling you. Um, the episode what? prior to that where they found the town of, well, the town of survivors found them Ellie oh god that was traumatic mm-hmm. I it was <laughs> when that when that when that preacher teacher whatever you want to call I, himself I and, just uh, want you to be loved Ellie I was like, I'm like, I'm I like can, dude I, I said a 14 year old just broke you your finger I for you mm-hmm. she mm-hmm. killed your guy with a meat cleaver because y'all were busy arguing if she's infected or not mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She done gave you the slip so many times. You should have quit while you were ahead. Because <laughs> see, then when she got her hands on you, it was right. everything went black. <laughs> Kill Bill music. That's but you, <laughs> once again, you <laughs> felt for you felt for our little bear because she blanked out. Like that was fight or flight. Yeah, she, fight blanked, fight she yeah. blanked out, and it was like. You nope. sick son of a bitch! You did, what? What? You're I can't eating people know. and then yeah. one, two, three, fourteen, too many goddamn times. Made, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As 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 gruesome as it was, that made that's exactly where a lot of people like, oh, this is horrible. I'm like, oh no, 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 no. Let's take you over to the PlayStation side and replay that same scene, shall <laughs> Hello. we? Hello, <laughs> hello. That's not even that's not even the worst of that universe, right? right? At all. And the fact, and the fact, when she walks out, and Joel, Joel was coming to save her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, despite all means, and I'm like, man, that that antibiotic kicked in real quick, didn't it? Listen, Uh, (laughs) listen, that's that's in the game too. You know, so the fact that he was coming to save her, and then he catches up with her, and like, she saved herself, but. He couldn't really save her, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Because she's had to resort to a, she had to resort to something that she never, that she's possibly thought about, but not to that level. Because like I mean, fear he, kicked in, and her, protecting her livelihood kicked in, and just everything, everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's almost it almost kind of goes back to the Left Behind episode. 
where uh, her and her friend were talking. It's like, well, what you like, well, what would happen if you are truly surrounded? You know, what do you really do in that moment where it's just between you and death? What do you do? And she goes, I, I don't know. I probably black out. Lo and behold, fast forward, <laughs> fast forward to that moment where she literally, when it got to the point to where it went that dark route, what did she do? Blacked mm-hmm. out. Blacked mm-hmm. out. Primal instincts took over. Um, but yeah, it's just it, it's it, it's it, it's real interesting that a lot of people are understanding. Like, why is the game? Why is this story so intense? I said, think about what this girl has been through in the in the time period of traveling between states. I mean, you almost got well taken advantage of. You almost got killed multiple times. You really got sold off as cargo if you really want to be honest about it and at the end of it all you were about to be dissecting the shish kebab mm-hmm. I can yeah, understand. she hasn't that part yet but yeah she about to say. Yeah. yeah but there was a, there was a small change from the game um to live action that i appreciate so much just in what we were talking about mm-hmm. when she is killing david in the mm-hmm. game um joel kind of stops her mm-hmm. he, he grabs onto her mm-hmm. i love that they didn't do that yeah, I felt I felt like that set up even more so the next episode. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Just even those small changes mm-hmm. just make such huge difference. differences. Yeah, and, and it emphasizes the show. We it emphasizes the show so much because I have some people who you know I stay on the, I stay on the dark side of Twitter where you know the folks like to complain. I just want to sit there and see what they complain about. And mm-hmm. there were a few. It's like, well, that's not how it happened in the game. So well, what? There's a reason so why it's called an adaptation and not an exactly. imitation because exactly. there's a big difference. Um, and and you're right. There need to be some changes because it went with the direction of how the show was doing. Now the show did run parallel to the game. That's not that's beyond for the most part. Yeah, yeah for, the, it was just for the, the most part. Yeah. So I mean, there was some little changes. I mean, they didn't care about uh, Joel's brother's wife. I mean, if they looked in the video game, she was white and blonde haired. He's mm-hmm. married to a black woman. Mm-hmm. He seems happy. I'm not complaining. And so was Joel for that matter, because yeah. you know, Sarah. Joel. Hello. Hello. Joel. I just love the fact that the brothers must there. love the Nubians. I mean, we do we do put seasoning in there in the Ow. chicken. I mean, I ain't, mad. I ain't mad at it. So I mean, but again, there's I mean, there's great, there was so many great little changes that actually mm-hmm. made that actually made it work. Because they didn't have, yeah. they didn't do the attack at the water station. Um, they didn't do the attack at the hydro plant. They didn't lead to they that. They actually, to. yeah, they didn't need to. Again, mm-hmm. unnecessary. They didn't do. Uh, they didn't really do Joel's basement run where he's trying to find Ellie and runs into the bloater. They didn't. Do, they okay. didn't do that one per se. They actually add that up as far as the bloater being part of the swarm. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, they didn't do the school. Yeah, still makes it work. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, work. Yeah, they didn't do the school. Yeah, even so, though I'm not gonna lie, they, I I missed they, Bell. They, Wait, which? Because I think didn't they do a little bit of the school? Mm-mm. They they did not. No, no, mm-hmm. not no, that. That's that's no. that's that's what Bill's run. Yeah, Bill's run yeah. was the school. Yeah, that's where he, that's where he was still complaining about. You brought them all here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, was, I can't. Bill I can't lie. Like I miss Snarky here. Bill though. I cannot lie to you. It was. It was. Mm-hmm. I think it probably would have been too too much. Ron Swanson. By the I, record, I for the record, look up Ron Swanson running away giggling. It's <laughs> <laughs> what it will yeah. absolutely make your day. Uh, <laughs> okay, <laughs> if you look up, if you look up, <laughs> it's the it's he, oh, so sidebar when when Nick Offerman plays Ron Swanson on Parks and Recreation, <laughs> when he's giggling, he's up to no he's up to no good. Yeah, <laughs> and it's at when he's at his best. And when mm-hmm. there's there's a scene where he giggles and he's running off, it's like a little kid. It's he like runs. the Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it's the most infectious giggle because you can't help but laugh because mm-hmm. you know he's up to no good. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, look that you gotta look that up. Ron oh, Swatson yeah. giggling, oh, like God. you're just like this is <laughs> insane. Um, <laughs> I'm but it's, it, it's, it is hilarious. It is. It is. Yeah. I was, la- I, was, I was laughing at that about 10 minutes straight. I'm like, I why am I still watching it? <laughs> so, it's that funny. It is. Funny. Um, but yeah, is this is this is really a great adaptation mm-hmm. yeah. of this yes. show. Yeah. Down to the character breakdowns. 
and how they were portraying. They really got a lot of great actors that come out their bag. Mm -hmm. And they really got some voice actors to once again come out their bag. Mm -hmm. And I believe this is the testing waters going forward for Warner Brothers because, at least for the DC side anyway. I was gonna say because they are doing their, they, I mean, Resident Evil still coming out with another. Well, there's a CGI, so you can get away from that. They're not. I mean, let me stress this very heavily. The CGI Resident Evil movies are fine. The, okay, those the are live terrible. action ones. Terrible. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I'm, look, I as it's a, nothing I, against I, Mila Jovovich. Ooh. We like, I like seeing a, a female. Uh, a strong female kicking ass. I love it. I, I absolutely love it. Oh, however, and it messed up Mark, and it yeah, messed up but, but yeah, it however, Hunter too. That's what made me mad. Yeah, however, you know, when you steer so far from the source material that it's not even the same. Exactly. How do you give Paul Wes Anderson that much money to write the same movie five times? Because you want you think you're gonna get money and they as, as, as the team over at Fast yeah. and the Furious. I don't <laughs> that about that part. Because that about part. <laughs> it's about family. You, you, it's about you, you, family. You That's your tagline. Money it's about family to now? go into space. That freaking part. I'm just once you once you saw two brothers in space and it had to be Tyrese and Ludacris. I'm like, you know what? I'm not even mad at this point. <laughs> I'm here to see if it actually happens and what's the reaction to it. That's what it was. Um, I, I'm just, I'm just waiting for that. I'm just waiting for the, the inevitable clash of somehow a charger is going to go against the tank. That's what I'm waiting for. I swear to God, I'm, I'm waiting for they, that. They, to they better not bring, they better not bring Optimus in this. They got enough problems of their own. Um, <laughs> but uh, before we get out of here, what is everybody's score rating one to ten uh, on Last of Us? And we'll start with you, Geek the Heart. Oh my god. Um nine, nine point five. Nine, nine point five. Solid. Lady Mandalore. Um uh, because I haven't played the video game, I no notes. Like nine point <laughs> no, eight. Nine point eight. No notes. Black Spartan. <laughs> eh, nine point five. Nine point four. This is very fair. Mm -hmm. Uh it is. I, I I look forward to it. I'll wait patiently because right now we still have the Mandalorian. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot it was on. Oh my god. Wait, no, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. No, it's Tuesday. It's tomorrow. Okay, okay. It's, it's, tomorrow. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of it's a lot of, it's a lot of Pedro to go wow. on. It's just a lot, you know, he pop, he he's popping up everywhere, you know. I'm like, yo, you're how are you and and then you're at the uh, okay, well, you know, that's why I put that meme up of maybe you should have watched maybe the last of us yeah. and you wouldn't have been disappointed. Uh <laughs> so yeah, nine point nine point five for me. Um, one, if not one of the best forms of adaptations for a video game. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they they crossed it over very well. They have some great actors because Jesus, they they really came out and showed out the makeup alone. Like it's one of those things, and if you've ever seen the concept, the, the concept art, yeah, yeah. the concept and the, the art. Costumes. If you get a chance to really look at it and see how detailed, you're just like, yo, they're just getting better mm -hmm. and better. Mm -hmm. And I'm here for it. I'm here mm -hmm. for it. Queen Jasmine gives it a nine point eight. Not right. That's so that so that makes it across the board like a solid ten. You know, <laughs> it's, I mean, it's damn near it's, it's, it's damn near ten. Yeah. Um. So yeah, it's it's. I'm here for this. I I'm I'm I was on the fence because that's why I said in the group chat I said should we should we have gotten ten episodes or I don't know. I mm -hmm. think I think HBO Max has learned their lesson with uh, with Game of Thrones. But see, on the, in the fall of that, <laughs> like they gave us ten, They're and then right. that last that last season, you, you turned around and gave us what seven or, yeah, or something like that. Y'all y'all y'all. You you handicapped us severely, and it, and it didn't fare well. Nobody liked to find the they season. Didn't. <laughs> like, no the, they didn't even have to wrap the story. Were... They didn't have to wrap it. They could have just left it open ended. But that's just me. No, they could not. They were. There's no way they were going to leave that open ended. Only yeah. upside. <laughs> only upside. Arya Stark. Only upside for the last yeah. season. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> See, just, Stark, boy. I ain't mad at John Stark. Uh, John Snow neither, but. <laughs> <laughs> 
Mm, it's I, all flame, but it's there. I can't. Yeah, you're right. Queen Jazz will never forgive them. You're right. We'll Listen. never forgive them. So they still, uh, and, and we, and we will in, never uh, forget. Protection. I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. John, yeah. John and Ned, John, as much as I'm a Stark fan, John and Ned had multiple opportunities. Ned could have Ned could have just off Cersei and we wouldn't have had this problem. That's all I'm saying. Man, man could have all served you right there in front of in front of his in front of his bro, and the king would have been like, eh. "Well, here's the thing: Ned is a man of honor, and it's played by Sean Bean. It was just, it was, exactly. it, 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 it was, it was going to happen. Come on, come on, John. Everybody's telling you to take the throne, sir. <laughs> just do it. <laughs> just take the goddamn throne. Yeah. Oh my god. So <laughs> before we get out of here. We're gonna get our sign off on. We're gonna start with our resident writer, Geek by Heart. Tell them where everybody you can find you. What's up? This is Lane from Geek by Heart. Me and my um, husband does movie reviews, and he loves DC, and he's coming out with his project soon. So please tune in to Geek by Heart on YouTube. I also write for um, any horror movies that I'm seeing. I definitely just wrote for Scream um, for Florida's Eye View. So check his um website out and i also did my review on it also on geek by heart on youtube so just check and, us out ig and, let's go every yeah. time laney has her, like a like a quick review i'm mm -hmm. like i gotta see what she say <laughs> <laughs> i gotta see I, oh, and that's no that's not because she writes for the for the site it's just like no i gotta it yeah. matters yeah. She I gotta watch horror movies, so you don't have to there you go <laughs> there you go i have i put in text plenty of times I'm glad you told me that because see now <laughs> facts you've saved me time. Like, yeah, there I, I honestly can say there have been horror films that I've seen that I'm just like, I will never get this time back. Listen, Ever. terrifier, terrifier. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you, you took one for the team on that one twice. <laughs> I was like, Jesus. She went in on that one, man. I was just oh, like, man. wow. I'm like, That's okay. Funny. She took she took all the curiosity I had and sucked it right out the room. It was just like, yep, I'm not curious anymore. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh man. All right. Lady Mandalore. Hi. Um, Lady Mandalore here, uh, for a room full of blurs. <laughs> um, I am on social media platforms such as Twitter, but the room full of blurs does not have the two O's in it. Um, I also have a chat room every Saturday at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on an app called Fanbase. Come by, enjoy, have fun, talk nerd stuff. Um, I also have a podcast, which I finally released my third episode of Child of Mandalore. Yay! It is on Spotify. It is on Apple Podcasts. It's on the everywhere, everywhere. Everywhere. It's under your bed. <laughs> it's <Just> under your <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm very proud of this episode, actually. If you listen to my first two episodes, they are right, but this third episode... Oh, it gets better, trust me. I did. I okay. I broke I broke my foot off in that bad boy. Okay? I, I, will tell you, All I will tell you this. I will tell you this. When I started out, hmm. DC will tell you, Ooh. like, no facial hair. I look like a thumb. I, I didn't really. I'm like, yo, I wow. I'll never do that again. Uh, <laughs> I'll never do that again. Baby face, baby face, Nelson style. Nah, never, 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 never. Give them Tony baby face. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah, I'll never do that again. Oh, man, oh. Black Spartan, tell everybody where they can find you. Uh yes, I am Black Spartan. Of course, you can find me Blackbox four four seven on all socials. I usually do reviews on everything that I play, that I read, that I watch, and even uh, gym stuff because I do a couple push ups. Um, I am also uh, got hope podcast of my own. Of course, my political podcast called How the Frack Got Here every Wednesday and Saturday on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. I also have another uh, podcast that goes by the name of Get Bit Podcast with my co-host Joe Tonello. Also, every Friday, and that can be found on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. I am also one of the writers for the Blurred's Eye Review site for wrestling. Why? Because wrestling is real and people are fake. Uh, shout out to Kenny for that one. As we're getting close to WrestleMania. Um, and of course, the ongoing debate on who's better, Jay Cargill or Bianca Belair. That was fun. Um, <laughs> it really was. Uh, so Jay, I, <laughs> but you can't lose neither way. <sighs> you kind of could, but that's not fast. That's, that's a whole other story. <laughs> anyway, um, that being said, guys, uh, Jay, Jay, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> <trying to> <laughs> this. I, I, you forgot this was the petty episode. And like, <laughs> yes, it is. The people, the people asked for us back for a special episode. 
I have a right to be petty. <laughs> All right. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to avoid going into that rant by Jay Cargill because I just came out of it. Um, <laughs> but no, um, aside from that, guys, uh, as a uh, I like to say in 2023, simply put, um, first and foremost, there is no competition. Everybody's running their own lanes. Um, everybody's running their own races. The one thing that I really do wish people would do is that if you see somebody that has achieved a goal, has gotten a bag, has gotten recognition, is well on their way to getting to where they want to be, just congratulate them. Yeah, I mean, you don't got to be full on, that's my bestie, or you go, sis, or whatever the catchphrase is these days. But <laughs> just say congratulations. There is no need to be salty just because somebody got to something and they you don't know what the work they put in. You don't know how far you don't know the blood sweaters they put in to get into that. But there is no need to be salty because guess what? When your time comes up, you probably want somebody to tell you congratulations, too. So, again, don't be salty. Aside from that, guys, um, there is no competition. I am rooting for everybody, especially my black and, and seasoned mayo and uh, and uh Latino heat and Asian persuasions. You know who all of you are. Um, Latino heat. Latino heat. I, I, just, <laughs> I, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. Oh, Shout out to Eddie Guerrero. But yeah, <laughs> I, I, I support you. I will share stuff. If you got stuff that's in a 4X that doesn't look doesn't feel tight on me, I'll probably buy it. Um, <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Roots of Fight, because you had me looking like a you had me looking like a, a Hulk. Uh, you made me look the incredible Hulk in a throw neck this morning. Did it, did it come okay. from overseas? It came from overseas, didn't it? No, it came from here and it was a forex. I thought it was fine. I was like this. I mean, muscles and all the stuff was all good and whatnot, but I couldn't move. <laughs> <laughs> and then my Your wife didn't mind, and you probably oh, I, I was about to say, <laughs> yeah. all the face was sure. all good for him. Sure. Let me ask something. you, where you where, who are you getting dressed up for? That was right. the question. <laughs> Let me tell you something. She I sit there and said, honey, does this look tight on me? Yeah. <laughs> I'm up here. <laughs> said, now you know how it feels. Now, now, <laughs> Chris, he was in my head for that one. <laughs> what color are my eyes? Trust me, my wife says the same thing. Why is it? I'm like, it's 20 years. Why wouldn't I? That's the question. Right. Uh, <laughs> um, but aside from that, the last thing I've got to say, guys, in this very long outro, is that I just have one rule about social. I am a very friendly person, depending on who you talk to, because some people might see me as nice. Some people may see me as petty. Some people may see me as a-hole. I just return the energy get back to me. So, again, don't be a dick. We'll all be cool. And there it is. Mm -hmm. Ah, mm -hmm. I told y'all, one night only. This was supposed mm -hmm. to be our two-week break. We mm -hmm. come back on the 28th. <laughs> but the people asked thank you lady mandalore <laughs> did a post and i actually made a slight suggestion and she was like eh, not really and then all of a sudden the post she made people were asking for us so number one thank you um and i'm not meaning that in a sarcastic way like no thank you that means you're watching us that means you're supporting us that means you're looking out for us you, that means our opinions matter to you yeah. and we entertain you and we encourage you and we entertain you like the tagline uh but if you if this is your first time here go to ig blurred's eye view right there in the, in the tag uh you'll find the link in the bio to send you to all the great places including facebook blurred's eye view podcast you can also catch us on opulence radio free app download you can listen to old episodes tuesdays and thursdays all day long pitch your boss off you can also catch us on twitch blurred's eye view one you can also catch us where Always press record TV. You can catch us now on Roku and Amazon Fire. Go to alwayspressrecord.com, download the app, and you'll get us and all these great episodes. You can catch us everywhere, all the time. Uh, the sky's the limit. Who said we was done? Because I didn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's going on? Mr. Deacon in the building, what's going on? Thank you for the love, Queen Jasmine. Uh, this has been a great one, and I've never had any doubts, but we had to answer the call. Hence the, the hence, well, I don't have that shirt on, but you see the logo behind me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I had to represent the kingdom, and then, yeah, so. Uh, so, shout out to Queen Angela Bassett. We appreciate you. You have our, you have our full and admonished uh, uh, love and appreciation. We see you. We see you. I'm Way Anime. Thank you. Thank you. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, what's up? Hi. <laughs> we appreciate you, Queen Jasmine. You don't need the Oscars to validate you. We will. Mm-hmm. We've been giving you your flowers. As a matter of fact, you deserve the whole garden, the whole field, all of it. All of it. And you, in one day, they probably recognize it on the other side. But don't worry, because every room you've walked in, we sat up straight, our spines them tightened up. Our English has become perfect. <laughs> we speak with pronunciation and enunciation like yes. you never believe your mind. I showed, I showed up out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. Like, we don't know what's going on. I know how to tie Windsor knots and everything. So I just, I'm just saying, we appreciate you. Uh, shout out to all the winners, of course. Uh, shout out to Brendan Fraser, Kiwan Kwan. They well earned, well deserved, everything, everywhere, all at once, the whale. Uh, great movies. Check them out when you can. Uh, you won't be disappointed. Uh, if you have not seen Wakanda Forever, you need to watch it just to see what we mean by Queen Jasmine or be, by Queen Angela's, uh, Angela. yeah, Queen Angela's uh, rendition, and how much more it means even now after what we've seen. This is Queen Gate. That's what this episode is. This is Queen Gate. Uh, and as Michael B. and Jonathan Major said. Hey, Auntie, we love you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Until we come back on the 28th, we're going to enjoy the rest of our break, but you're still going to see a lot of stuff coming from us. Different venues, different every areas. You'll just check us out. Follow us on all the things, on all the things, and all the social sites, on all the YouTube, as the kids say. You know, spend some time in front of the screen. Get some culture. <laughs> Get some culture. Uh, until... We come back on the 28th. Remember to educate yourself and others, entertain yourself and others, and most of all, encourage yourself and others. I am Chris Fury, the man on the wall, with this amazing team Mm -hmm. that I could not do this without. But until we see you guys again, we're out of here. Bye. Bye.